We've created an exact project, added it to the content pipeline, and loaded up our audio objects. When we build this game, the content pipeline will build our exact project and create the audio files that are loaded by the audio engine, soundbank, and wavebank code objects. We'll have the audio engine running in our game and ready to play sounds, but we haven't added any place where we play a sound yet. That's what we'll do now. First, we need to make sure our audio engine runs properly. Find the update method. Scroll down until you find where you call update missiles. After that, add a new line and then add the following call, audio engine dot update. This call is necessary to keep the audio engine updated from frame to frame. Once you've placed it in the update call, you're ready to play audio. In exact, the only objects that the programmer can play are cues. From code, you cannot directly play a sound or wave, but when we created the cues in exact, they automatically tied to the right sound and wave. So to play the missile launch sound, we just play the missile launch cue. Cues are called by name from the sound bank object. Let's play the missile launch sound when the player launches a missile. Find the fire missile method. Look for the if statement inside the for each statement. Just inside that if conditional, above all the velocity, position, and rotation setting, add the following line. Sound bank dot play Q quote missile launch quote. That's all it takes to play the sound. Sound bank dot play Q, then the name of the Q you want to play. If you want to see the names of the cues again, you can open the exact project and look at the sound bank cue list. For now, let's give this a try with our new audio. Go ahead and build and run, green right pointing arrow or F5. Make sure you're on the connect to computer screen if you're on Xbox. Fire some missiles and listen for the sounds. We have only a few chapters left to go. In the next chapter, we're going to add some enemies which will move in 3D space, giving us something to shoot down with our missiles. Now, if you need to catch up to where we are right now, you can just click Download Source Code at the bottom of this chapter page to unpack a version of the project that has all the source code and assets for this chapter. And by opening that project, you'll be caught up. If you're ready to move on, click the next chapter.